Hi everybody, it's Deb from d, d Art Gallery. I'm doing a voiceover today for this painting. This is a 12 by 16 inch canvas. I do have my base coat down, which is uh, made up of Pittsburgh Ultra Interior Satin, squirt of GAC 800 in Floetrol. And I did lay down a little bit of a puddle there in the middle as a guide to where I wanted to put my paints. This is going to be a deconstructed bloom today. And I would like to give a shout out to Sharmin Khan of Milky Way Art Design. And I will list her name in the description. I've been watching quite a bit of her channel lately and she's given me great inspiration. She does a lot of blooms. And um, so if you get a chance, check out her channel. I have quite a few colors here I'm using today and some are older and I don't remember the names of them. But I will list in the descriptions the ones that I do remember. And I will go over those real quickly right now. The paints I'm using are the Folk Art Color Shift Aqua Flash. A combination of the Extreme Sheen Deep Sapphire and DecoArt Metallic Green and DecoArt Jadeite. The pouring medium for those paints is um, Dutch Boy Deep Base C, Minwax Polycrylic, and jo the Josana Varnish in a 2 to 1 to 1 ratio. And the pigments I'm using today are all primary elements. And they are the Scarab Beetle, Pomegranate, Lucky Apple, Interference Blue, Indian Spice. And for those, I took that pouring medium with the Dutch Boy Deep Base, Minwax Polycrylic, and Josana. I used 50% of that, and then I added 50% Rust-Oleum Triple Thick to that combination before mixing with those primary elements just to thicken them up a bit. So here I've laid all my paints down and I'm just adding more of my base coat to help my paints move here, spreading it out. I am using my turntable today to help those paints move. And I do believe this may be the biggest painting I've done so far using the Bloom recipe. So we'll just see how it goes here. I That's why that I did add the, um, the GAC 800 to that house paint to prevent the cracking and the crazing. Just giving it some spins here. And at this point, the paint really isn't moving that much. Now I'm going to be putting down my uh, cell activator, which is the Amsterdam Oxide Black one part to three parts Australian Floetrol. And I do clean off my um, palette knife there in between each swipe. Thinking about composition right here as I'm doing this also. This is uh, sped up a little bit, this part of the video, just so you wouldn't have that long to watch. As you can see, as I'm putting down that cell activator, it is, it is quite reactive, I'm getting a lot of cells coming up there. 
just going over a little bit here and there. At this point, I decide that I don't think I have enough color in this one area. So I'm just laying down again some more of my paints and my primary elements there. There is one paint I did forget to um, mention, and that is the paint that I make up uh, myself called Mysterious. It is made up of four different paints. And it used to be uh, with Art Mines. Art Mines produced that color, but I understand that uh, they discontinued that quite a, quite a long time ago. Okay, I'm pretty happy now with uh, how everything's looking, giving it a quick torch. And some more spins here, just to see if I can get the paint to uh, move a little bit. The base coat is quite thick, so this is when I decide I'm going to do some tipping with this to see if I can get the paint to move. If any of you have any questions on this process at all, um, please leave them in the comments. I do try to get back and answer all the comments. Here I'm adding a little bit more of the base coat because I just don't think that paint is running fast enough. But I am starting to like the looks, the composition of this painting here. Just drawing it out some more here. You can see where that uh, base coat is running there. It almost splits that uh, the paint in half there on that canvas. And I actually did really like how that turned out. Here I'm taking my, it's actually not a skewer, but it's the, um, it's a paintbrush, the bottom end of a paintbrush, and I'm just adding some interest here to the painting. And this is another thing that the, that Charmin Khan of Milky Way um, Art Design does. I've learned this from her, drawing some lines out. Just working with the composition here. You can play with your painting as much as you want to or you don't really have to at all, but I just felt this painting needed a little something extra. Just a little something extra for the eye to look at. Drawing some of those colors out. I am cleaning off that, that tip of that paintbrush after every dip I make there. Swirling the paint around a little bit there. You can just see by taking your time, adding a little bit here and there, 
how it really does add to a painting. And if there's an area that you really don't like in your painting, by doing this, you can kind of hide that area or add to it without having to scrape it off. Just still adding a little bit here and there. Now I'm giving it a torch and we're going to get ready here to give you a, a close up. Okay everybody, here we are for our close up and I will try and show you the whole painting here. And let's go to the upper left hand corner, a lot of negative space. Just going down the left hand side here. These colors turned out just beautiful. Quite an array of colors used here today. I will list in the description, again, most of the colors used here today. You can just see all the little fancy doodads I added here just to add a little more interest to this painting and I will show you some of my favorite spots it's pretty in here very pretty in here And we'll go over to the bottom right-hand corner. Again, a lot of negative space. And this is probably my favorite spot. All this lacing I got in here, just the black and the white sandwiched in there with all those colors. And up to the upper right-hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you share it. Ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time that I do post a new video. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.